This is my plan and I will start by doing this golden leaf brush. Since I didn't have any brush what I wanted to destroy, I'm going to take a piece of this thick fabric. It is actually the same fabric what I have used for this chair I'm sitting on. So I'm just driving a piece what I need for this fabric and then cutting it out. And I will attach this fabric to the brush with these needles. And now I am able to take it out whenever I want and whenever I don't use them anymore. Fold the excess fabric inside. I will cut the fabric uh, just a little bit longer than my bras are. I will be using this golden paper to make the leaves. Drawing two paper full of these and then cutting them all out. So I wanted to add something to these leaves so they wouldn't be so boring. I'm just going to take a ruler and a needle and then just kind of like draw a line in the middle and also draw small lines coming out of the middle to the sides and every leaf was different. Using the hot glue gun just to hot glue this front piece and then attach the leaves to the brass. After gluing them all the brass are done. I will later on actually cut the uh, bottom leaves straight because they were actually spiking uh, my stomach. I have this cup full of hot water and I will drop there some of these plastic balls. After they get sheet through I take them out and let them cool just a little bit so I can start touching them and shaping them and these are going to be the eyes and I make these four. I draw three triangles together and also one piece alone. I will cut it out and use the ruler to fold the thick paper so it goes straight. Hot glue gunning all the pieces together and now I have a 3D triangle. I have liquid latex in this cup and I will pour their flour just to make it a little bit thicker paste and I will apply it into the middle of the triangles and then spread in uh, the paste to the edges and in this little cup I only have the liquid latex and I will push this eye inside the paste what we made before and then smoothening everything out using just the liquid latex. And now this triangle is ready. I draw kind of like a coffin shaped uh, thing into this paper. This piece is going on my forehead. I'll cut it out and hot glue gun the edges together. I will do the exactly same thing what I did to the triangle. I will use the liquid latex paste and put the eye inside of this and this piece is going into my hand. Now I just let these pieces dry overnight. I'm powdering this eye just so I can remove it. I will coat all these three latex pieces with prosthetic adhesive. Just applying it with my fingers. Painting this triangle with the black SFX cream color and coating it with the SFX set loose setting powder. Added use glue and the glitter on top and bottom for this pyramid, but my camera was not recording. I'm using the gold and white cream colors to make these dots for this. Adding the gold glitter and for that I'm using the glitter gold screen pro pad and also glitter brilliant glitter. I use the silver glitter on 
the inner corner of the eye and also on top of the white dots what we made and the pink I'm using to the eyelids with this white liquid liner creating these lightning looking lines and lining them also a little bit with the black to create a shadow red cream color just to make the corners of these eyes red I cut this space for my wings out of this white thicker paper and it is where I'm going to glue all the feathers and I am also cutting a smaller piece out of the golden paper what we before used to the leaves and this is the piece what is going on top of the feathers I start drawing the feathers and we are going to knit tons of them I'm drawing all different sizes we need to cut them out and again I'm using the ruler to fold these feathers from the middle and also for all the feathers I'm going to cut small pieces out so they would look more real hot glue gunning all these feathers now I'll start with the longest ones and just moving on to the smaller ones adding two layers of these white feathers and after that I start making these small golden feathers out of the golden paper I'm doing everything exact same as the white ones but this time I'm drawing with this needle these lines now I just hot glue gun these to the feathers also adding the gold top piece now and now the feathers are left under and these wings are done moving to the headpiece uh, so I'm bending this aluminum tie wire into the shape I want around my head and when it's good sized I put the aluminum inside of the plastic pipe to make the outside circle thicker and when that's done I'm bending the aluminum around my head tightly so it holds in my head goodly I'm making this triangle out of this white paper and these are going to be the spikes after cutting them I bent them a little bit so they would be easier to roll and then I'm using the masking tape to make them stay put because the hot glue gun didn't really stick on the plastic pipe I used the instant glue to fix some of the spikes now I'm using this thin cable tie and a little thicker one hot gluing these bigger ones using gold spray paint for this headpiece and then using glue on the spikes and adding these small glitters for these thicker cable ties I'm just using chunkier glitter hot gluing small strings on these wings so I can just attach these to the headband easily and I can take them out if I need spraying these roses also with the gold paint I'm making these wings out of the paper again and these are the ones that I'm gonna glue next to my eyes I coat them with liquid latex cut pieces out of the bolt cap adding them on the wings and then just coating the bolt cap with latex also I'm going to coat the wings with foundation and after that using the SFX set loose setting powder drawing these wings with the black cream color adding scandalous liquid lipstick on the tip of the wings and then painting rest of the wings with the white cream color then adding the gold glitter gold liquid eyeliner on the tip of the wings and then tapping on the glitter brilliance gold glitter on top of the white cream color I'm adding this Vegas baby pigment using epic ink liner to line all the feathers and then adding on tip of the feathers this glitter gold liquid eyeshadow multiverse and lastly shadowing the wings with the black cream color 
and adding highlights with the white liquid liner. Now these small wings are done. It's time to start doing this look. I'm using this Honey Do Me Up primer on my chest and on my face. I'm adding a couple drops of this Awaywe Glow Liquid Booster on them to my foundation just to make this foundation a little darker and I will blend it with my beauty blender and I do add this foundation on my chest and later on to my arms. Concealing my face uh, with the HD Studio Photogenic uh, 01 and the Katja Coverage Concealer Ivory. And then I'm just gonna set them all with the SFX Set Loose Setting Powder using Beauty Blender under my eyes and then taking a bigger brush to set my full body. And now I'm just gonna go at this golden hairspray on my hair. Starting to do this crack or explosion where the pyramid is coming out of my chest, drawing it with the brown liner and then just adding this gold cream color on the outer parts and this white cream color on the inner parts. I'm using the Epic Ink Liner to line the whole explosion, taking this ultimate shadow palette and using the matte brown to shadow this whole crack and after that using a little bit of my bronzer just to lighten the brown shadow. Adding the Glitter Coals liquid eyeshadow multiverse and using this on the inner parts of the crack Taking this pigment, Vegas Baby, dabbing it with my finger on the middle part. I'm using this white liquid liner just to add some highlights to these cracks and just so it pops out more. And also making these lines coming out of the middle part. Shadowing all the corners with the black eyeshadow. Going back to the ultimate palette and just using this brown glittery eyeshadow just to shadow this part more and the blending the black out a little bit more. This is the Glitter Coast Liquid Eyeliner Summer Mill and just adding these lines in the middle part also with this one. And then taking the cold glitter brillants, tapping it onto the glitter eyeshadow. Now taking this cold cream color and just blending it on my hairline. I went to put some hair gel on my hair and just adding this same cold glitter on my hair. I'm adding this prosthetic adhesive under my eyebrow and then wait it to dry a little bit and adding this wing what we made before and just pushing it to the skin. I do add a little bit the frosted adhesive on top of the wings so then it would blend nicely all together later on. A little bit sketching where these feathers should go and then when they are good I'm taking this epic ink liner and just lining the all feathers now. Dipping into the brown shade on this ultimate palette and just blending it on my eyebrow. Taking a little bit my contouring palette and just dragging the brown shadow down towards my nose and contouring my nose a little bit. And with the brown shadow I'm doing my eyebrows and on top of them using this control freak eyebrow gel. Now we start coloring the wings and we are doing the exact same thing what we did on these latex wings. So first grabbing the Scandalous uh, liquid lipstick and adding it on the tip of the wings. And then taking this SFX cream color white and adding it on the rest of the wings. And also 
putting it under my eyebrow and leave it grabbing back the brown eyeshadow and extending my brow a little bit lower. Taking this Vegas Baby pigment and adding it on top of the white cream color. This is the Chamomile liquid liner and just adding this on top of the feathers. Using the glitter brillants, the gold one, and just tapping this on on top of the glitter eyeliner. Taking the multiverse liquid eyeshadow and just putting this and just darkening the tip of the wings and now a little bit lining the wings again just to darken them up and lastly the black cream color just to shadow the wings and I'm also shadowing my lower lash line I will add this gold to my inner corners and also my eyelid then taking this glitter balls pro palette and using this gold glitter shade and just dabbing it with my finger on top of the gold cream color and now a little bit blending it out with the brush also I'm dipping a little bit into this glitter balls cream glitter palette and the gold shade and just dabbing it on to the same place as the other glitter using a little bit this black eyeshadow to shadow my lower lash line and also shadow my upper lash line and with this black liner just to extend my inner corner using this word the hype mascara on my lashes contouring a little bit my cheeks for the blush I'm using this ultimate brights the pink shade of this palette and just dabbing it onto my cheeks and for good highlighter I'm using this most green ultimate palette and the lightest glittery shade and just highlighting my face with this one with this white liquid liner I am just creating these lines to these wings to add some nice brightness into them so this is the piece what I made for this forehead. I did coat it with the foundation and I am a little bit shadowing it with the brown shadows and also adding some glitters into it and some lightnings like we have it on our pyramid. I put the gold cream color on my forehead and then adding the gold glitter liner and on top of it the loose golden glitter. And just attaching this with the spirit gum on my forehead. Adding some white lines on the forehead and on top of it using the Vegas Baby pigment just to brighten it up. And for the shadows, I'm using the small screen palettes, the brown shimmer shade, cream color gold one on my lips also. Now lining them with my white liquid liner. Just creating some white lines on my lips. Coating the gold cream color with the glitter calls gold eyeliner. And on top of it I will be using the gold glitter brillants. And just tapping it on. For the cheeks I was just making some kind of things when there was like empty space I'm using this water activated paint and creating a circle on my cheek using this gold glitter eyeliner and just putting it on the middle of the two white lines using the gold cream color just to paint this circle the gold and also add the glitter eyeshadows in middle of it and adding the loose glitter on top of the cream glitter eyeshadow lining things with the epic ink liner and just shadowing the circle part with this 
brown shades in the smoke screen palette. Now we are almost done. I'm going to add these earrings on my ears. Feather ones. I did put nose ring. I also tried to attach the pyramid on middle of my chest, but it was too heavy. So I'm just gonna keep it in my hand. I put this headpiece on and also I did add there those two chains and I attached them to my ears. Adding some roses on top of it. I applied the eye to my hand with the prosthetic adhesive. Use a little bit of foundation and shadow it it with the brown eyeshadows. Also hair sprayed it my tip of my fingers. I did have problem because I went to wash my hands so I can put contact lenses on. So it was a little bit leaving and dropping out of one corner. Lining my waterline and then adding these white contact lenses on. This look is now complete. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you liked this as much as I did. And I did also have fun creating this. Also uh, wish me luck to getting top 15.